In this video, I'm going to talk about my favorite snook fishing lures. My name is Captain Jim Clopper, and I've been a fishing guide in Sarasota, Florida since 1991. I really enjoy snook fishing, and I mostly chase them using artificial lures, especially in the cooler months. These six artificial lures will cover just about every snook fishing situation you'll encounter. Um, in fact, these six lures will basically cover almost all of the saltwater fishing situations that you'll find yourselves in. So, without further ado, here's my list of the best snook fishing lures. My favorite snook fishing lure, without a doubt, is the Rapala x rap Extreme Action Slash Bait. This is in the family of what are known as jerk baits. Long, slender lures real twitchy, lots of flash, they vibrate side to side, or they wobble side to side, they vibrate. When you pull them through the water, they jerk forward and then pause. It's really important when you're retrieving them to give it that little pause, because that's what um, often triggers the strike. <clears throat> this is the pilchard color, which really closely imitates our greenbacks, also a good mullet imitation. These are the two sizes I use. This is the 08 size, which is three and a quarter inch. This is the number 10 size, which is four inches. Rarely do I ever see the need to go any larger than this. Um, this looks a lot like a mullet or a larger uh, greenback or sardine. This imitate a variety of smaller bait. I will use white at times when the water's really clear and there's a lot of little silvery bait around. Also, when I do my river fishing, I'll use gold which works well in the tannic stained water. Super fun, easy lure to fish, throw it out towards structure, twitch it sharply, it'll shake and rattle and pause. Also, works very well when trolling. Um, I troll a lot in the creeks and canals. Most of them are idle speed zones anyway, so might as well drag a lure behind and, and not only do you have a chance to catch a fish, but it'll help you locate them. Number one snook fishing lure, gots to have in your tackle box. The next lure on my list of top snook fishing lures is the Gulp 5 inch jerk shad. It's a long slender bait similar to what many anglers refer to as a flute. It's got the little fork tail. It does have the patented Gulp scent which in my opinion makes a huge difference. Um, they come in a variety of colors. I usually fish with white. White's always been a traditional snook color. You can fish it on a swim bait hook. What I often do is just rig it right up on a jig head. Cast it out, let it fall near the structure, a couple quick hops. Um, generally, I won't fish this all the way back to the boat. I'll cast it out towards the structure, let it initially fall, Give it three, four, five nice hops and falls, and if nothing eats it, I'll reel it in and throw it to another spot. Uh, jig head works well in fairly open water and super congested, you know, lots of snags. I might go with the swim bait hook, but those will snag up too, so. Excellent all around snook lure. I'll go to this bait when I want to slow down and fish an area more thoroughly than I can with the Rapala jerk baits. Next on my list of my favorite snook fishing lures are the Bass Assassin line of soft plastic baits. This is the four inch sea shad which I use often in the bay. Good snook lure and also catches just about everything else that swims. This is a larger bait called the Boss Shiner. They also have the Die Dapper. Um, these two are excellent soft plastic lures. I will usually rig the Sea shad, the same as I would other soft plastic baits, simply thread it on a jig head. Comes a nice little swim bait, cast it out, hop, let it fall. You can reel it steady, the paddle tail moves, but generally I'll give this a hop and fall action. This I use more in the inland bays uh, and out on the beach. Excellent little all round lure, catches snook, redfish, just about everything else. The Boss Shiner is a bit larger, has much more of a pronounced tail. This is more of your classic swim bait style. 
I usually fish it in the rivers when I'm going for larger snook. And I usually fish it on a swim bait hook. Mostly weedless, so just screw it onto the keeper. There's a, a slot in the cavity there where you can put the hook through. Important for it to hang straight, but you see how weedless it is? The snook is buried in that little slot, yet when a fish grabs it, pushes down, and the hook pops out. This bait doesn't need a whole lot of action. It's got a huge tail. Um, this is my big fish bait. I'm not looking for numbers with this. I'm looking for that one really nice snook. Most often, I'll just cast it out, allow it to sink a couple seconds, and just slow roll it steady back to the boat. The tail will do all the work. Um, especially true in the cooler months when the fish aren't quite as active. Excellent big fish bait, excellent all-around bait. Bass Assassin Lures. Every angler that's snook fishing needs a topwater lure, topwater plug. This is my favorite. I'm a Rapala guy. This is the Rapala skitter prop. What I like about it over the traditional top or uh, walk the dog baits like the Zara Spook or Skitter Walk is that this little propeller makes a lot of commotion and action in the water. So this is an easier bait for novice anglers to use, which is important on my fishing charters. Just throw it out, let it settle, twitch it sharply. This thing makes all kinds of ruckus and a really unique gurgling sound. We'll draw a snook up and catch him. My favorite topwater lure for snook and everything else. Next on my list of favorite snook fishing lures is the Johnson Silver Minnow Spoon. Many anglers think of it as a redfish lure, and it is an excellent redfish lure. But, snook are often found in the same spots. Um, while snook are well known for being around structure, here in Sarasota and most parts of Florida, you will find them on the open flats, lying in potholes, or just laid up in the grass. So, a lure that casts a long way, can be worked in very shallow water without hanging up, puts out a ton of flash and vibration. This is an excellent search lure, good lure for customers who don't have a ton of, or anglers who don't have a ton of experience. All you really have to do is throw it out and reel it in. I do like using a swivel, whether a small snap swivel at the top or um, 18, 20 inches a liter and then a swivel because that will help you with line twist. Excellent lure for snook and redfish on the shallow flats. Last but not least on my list of snook fishing lures is the three inch gulp shrimp. This is my go-to inshore saltwater bait for speckled trout and just when I'm looking for action and variety. Um, so that's the only reason it's last on the list. I rig it on a jig head just like the other soft plastic lures. Uh, I use this when I want to scale down the bait a little bit, mostly in the winter, fish potholes and stuff like that. It's also an excellent bait to use at night around the lights when shrimp are moving with the tide. All right, that's it, my list of lures. Not only will they handle snook, but they'll just about catch everything else in the water. Thanks for watching.